all right hey guys what is up it's Sean the Great and I'm back with a tutorial and uh, this tutorial is going to teach you how to do something really cool if you saw my last video which was this and uh, you can just by the looks of it you can tell how pretty cool it is so basically I'm going to be teaching you how to accomplish that effect so first of all these are my old icons for that setup so it will change the background of that in order to have a nice thing of the icon in the back so what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to do it on any wallpaper and then I'm going to teach you how to make it too if you want my exact setup it's going to be in the link and it's going to be in the description below so go ahead and check it out there and uh, yeah so what you're going to need is a program called the rain meter a pretty sick pretty sick program I love it honestly um, to customize your windows and what you're gonna first have to do is uh, go to view and uh, deselect show desktop icons I have mine deselected already but I selected it again so deselect that and uh, yeah let's get on with it all these icons over here have been modified by me to fit my needs if you need these go ahead comment below I'll put that down there also same with these and uh yeah anyways onwards so what you're gonna need is a basic editing program or uh, anything I prefer to use Photoshop because it's well the best so let's go ahead and launch Photoshop and have your wallpaper ready in Photoshop alright go ahead rasterize the layer rasterize layer oh I guess I already have it rasterized alright so what you're gonna do is the item you want the icon to appear to appear in is going to be selected so go ahead and the fourth icon down click and hold on it and do a quick selection tool if you don't have that selected already so go ahead and just click around and now I'm gonna do the triangles there you go now what you're gonna do is don't panic just hit delete boom that's gone All right. Boom. nothing more All right. Nothing more, nothing less. Alright. So, now what we're going to do is uh, click select all. And uh, we're going to go ahead and find an icon to do. So I'll go ahead and do the Photoshop icon. No. We're going to do Adam. Adam. Dot. Alright. So, what we're going to do. Oh, you're going to also need a text editor. So I use a. Uh, Adam by GitHub. It's a free text editor. I like to use this because it's nice. You could just use Notepad or anything else, but I prefer to use this. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into background, and we're gonna. So I have my icons for this saved elsewhere. So I have them saved in my documents and Rain Meter icons. You can Google Google search these icons and save them for yourself anywhere. And I like to save them in my documents. So we're going to go to wherever you saved your icon, all right, and we're going to take it, we're going to drag it and drop it into Photoshop like so. And since this is a bit small, so let's go ahead and enter, make sure it's placed in. Put this back here, and uh, let's go ahead and hit this tool, the very first one, and freeform this so it can fit our needs as we, well, need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this out a bit, make it look a bit neater than it's supposed to. So, yep, let's go with that. All right. So that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to. So that is your wallpaper. Actually, that's all you have to do. And uh, so let's go ahead and file, save as, save it as a dot png and uh, rename it to the app name with a capital in front so Adam and we're gonna go ahead and go into after you've installed my skin which we're going to need to do uh, go ahead into documents rain meter skins and wordy launcher I'm going to be using a copy so I can keep one for myself so word launcher we're gonna go into Adam background 
and you can just replace this background so save yes okay now what we're going to go ahead and do this is saving right now but while this saves we're gonna go ahead and open a new file file open oh no no actually no file new and we're gonna keep it at let me check really 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 quick documents rain reader skins where do you want your text icon this is my template if you want this you can also ask for that in the description below but yeah so let me go ahead image image size so when you make a new image go ahead and make it by 800 by 512 and uh, for whatever app you're using so I already have the icon made for Adam but what you're going to do is just select any font you want with the with the text tool go ahead and put it in and make sure it's about size 36 which is a nice size go ahead and click and just type in the name of the app that's it and make sure it's a PNG file save as PNG and where we're gonna put it is file save as I'll show you PNG and we're gonna put it in at resources and then images and it's gonna be saved there and make sure it's the app name with a lowercase okay that's very that's very key to what we're doing okay and now let's go ahead and open up your text editor right here and uh, so I already have one made for custom apps but what you're going to want to do is when you're making one for a brand new app brand shiny new app you're gonna go into rain meter skins wherever and then go to word launcher where do you launcher and you're going to go new folder new folder and then app name so whatever your app name is and then you're going to go ahead and do another new folder inside that folder and call it background with a capital B and this is where you're going to put the wallpaper that you want it changed to so for example I have the wallpaper I want to change to is right there for Adam and then we're going to make two files in there one called backgroundadam.ini and if you use Adam you can just go ahead and do file open folder and then we can go into wordy launcher Adam no we can just make it wordy launcher skins wordy launcher select folder and this will make a whole new window with all the apps right there so what we're going to do is we've got since we made app name we're going to click right click on this this is if you're using wordpad just right click new text file and uh, new file we're going to call it app name so your apps name dot any and what we're going to do is we're going to take all this code from here and just copy paste you don't you don't really need to learn the code for this you paste it change the name up here to the app name so app name oops and don't change anything else except for wherever your app name is supposed to be so app name and then here uh, you probably don't have to change this unless you're making a copy of it but here right here is this is where you're going to have to change it. You're going to have to change the app name and app name again and keep it the background and what we're going to do is we're going to make a new file inside the background folder called the background and then your app name so we go in here go in here we're going to name it app name same goes for here and you're pretty much done for that you can hit control s to save and uh yeah uh that's that that's just for the actual icon this is we haven't done anything to change the background yet and then what we're going to do is this is where right here this part is where you put where the app you want to launch it so an easy way to do this is going into your desktop going to show desktop icons 
just right clicking on it and then going to oh, right clicking oh alright so that doesn't work for that one but mostly it works mostly for almost anything where it says open file location so right click yeah there you go open file location click up here note the file Camtasia Studio and just copy that and paste it but since I'm not doing Camtasia and we were doing Adam uh, I already have Adam made Adams right there so this is everything for Adam and then when we go into background right click on background new file and name it background app name whatever your app name is dot any again and we're going to go ahead and go into one of the previous apps I've already had made for you go into the background folder and just copy paste this copy paste make sure not to miss a single thing like I missed there I missed a bracket that's not good don't change this only thing you have to change is your app name so your app names wallpaper picture with a capital letter it has to have a capital letter otherwise this won't work properly the way I've programmed it to and go ahead and save it so that's what we're doing and I'll just model this with uh, so I'll just model this with Adam so what we're going to do now is everything has been saved and you're going to go ahead and hide your icons if you don't have them hidden already and what we're going to do is go into rain meter so if you haven't launched rain meter launch rain meter because this is what you're going to have to do when you first install my skin you're going to find my skin so it's wordy launcher but uh, since i made a new one wordy launcher copy then we go ahead and find your app that you want to load up as an icon we go there and just click on this and load there you go you got it right there all right so let me just don't worry but here's how it's going to happen. You're going to hover over it and it should change. Oh, nope. Jesus. Nope. Nope. Alright, whatever. Screw you. Alright. So you're going to hover over it and it'll change. And you click on it. And if you have the, night, the proper program specified, it will launch. And occasionally Rain Meter does do this. It's a, it's a tad... It's a tiny little bug, but it... Just clicking on the window fixes it, and boom, you've lost the app. So that is all you have to do. That is all you have to do to customize it to your settings. And uh, yeah, that's actually that's that's it. And uh, once you let me unload the skin first. Yeah, unload skin. So once you get my my dot rm skin, which is programmed to as soon as it installs it'll set up my exact setup in rain meter so we're gonna go ahead and open up rain meter and my layout is this one we're going to load it up and boom there you go and what you could see was like there was a visualizer in my in my video and uh, that's only cuz I just I, I like the visualizer if you want the visualizer go ahead I'll put that down in the link uh, I'll put that link down in the description also I'm sorry for speaking so quiet throughout this whole thing, but uh, yeah, as you can see, everything works totally fine. If you need any clarification or any help, go ahead and contact me. My email is going to be in the description, along with my Reddit name, and uh, yeah, and just comment if you really need any help. As you can see, you can just click on any app if you specified the uh, path correctly, and it'll launch. So uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, tune in next time.